What's up guys, Gamebreaker here, bringing you another episode of Factions here on the server. Well, it's not really Factions, it's an SMP here on the faction server, my server that is. Link, of course, is down in the description. We are hanging out here with uh, Miter4, he is on the server right now. Uh, we've made a lot of changes to the server over the past few days, uh, and I have to apologize to you guys, I haven't been able to upload. Uh, it's because my entire computer pretty much got fried um, after I had recorded uh, an original uh, shoot here on the server with, uh, I was like five or six of you guys the other day. Uh, everything got corrupted, I had to basically wipe my computer back to factory reset, and that's why I haven't been posting things over the past couple days. But we are back now, seemingly good and working, so we are going to be having some fun here today. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about some of the changes we made to the server, and the fact that we are probably going to be going live. Uh, I'm thinking at the beginning of next week, I think we're shooting for Monday for going live for the server, having a ton of fun. So, some of the new things that we've changed with the server since I last talked to you guys. Uh, we've gotten rid of the red versus blue, that bit is gone. It doesn't. It didn't really make much sense anyway, uh, just because we had all the factions, plugins, and everything, so you can kind of make your own teams, forge your own alliances, uh, make your own betrayals. So we've gotten rid of the red versus blue, everyone's just up against each other now with factions. You're allowed to, you know, ally however you want, or ally whoever you like, and make your own wars, choose your own battles, that is totally up to you. So that's been gone, so there's no more of that. Uh, technically, I'm still on the gold team because I like the gold color on my name, so I'm keeping it. Um, other things, yeah, because we have the factions plug in here, uh, it means that no one can go into your land and break your block. So there's essentially no reason whatsoever to build a base. Uh, of course, this is just the beta right now, so I've given you guys all the blocks in case you want to build a spawn. And some people have built bases, as you can see here. But uh, once we go live, this is, of course, going to be an SMP, so I expect people to build, you know, their farms, their, you know, villager villages. You can, like, build whatever you want, essentially, monuments, uh, castles, forests, whatever you want to design. Go ahead and do it because no one can come on and break your land. Uh, of course, if you have allies, I believe allies can look in chests. So choose your allies carefully, of course. But otherwise, as you can see from other my uh, other earlier videos, uh, even if your stuff gets blown up, if someone happens to build a cannon and shoot TNT into your base, or if they drag a creeper in and blow stuff up, the stuff just regenerates. So you have absolutely no reason to build a base. Uh, just go ahead and build as you would in normal Minecraft because it is completely safe. So that is another thing I wanted to tell you guys once we go live. Uh, of course, all these blocks here will be gone and will make spawn a little better or if you guys have made a spawn feel free to send me one uh, you can just send me the dot schematic to the are you kiting me hd at gmail.com email uh, feel free to just send me that schematic or if you want to build one on the server connect up like i said ips down in the description below and build one in your own faction clan land and just tell me where it is and i'll come check it out and we might be able to use it uh for the actual live server uh other things we've done let's see what else i've got them all written down here because there's so much i have to remember um, let's see, yes, when we actually went live in the beta, there were a ton of you guys on, so I thank you very much for that. It was, was it like, uh, was it like last Friday night or something like that? I can't remember. But there was like, uh, 15 or 16 of you guys online. It was a ton of fun. It was great. Those of you who were here, thank you very much. And those of you who will be joining us later once we actually go live in the real version, I can't wait to play with you guys. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so yes, other things, the end and the nether are currently disabled, so the only way to get, uh, potions is to find them in the envoys here, as you can see, I think I saw a box earlier, um, one box falls at a time every 15 minutes or so, and I can configure, uh, how often they fall. So as you can see here, this is more than likely, I don't know, actually it was some mediocre diamond boots. But yeah, the only way to get potions uh, is through that currently. We will be releasing the nether eventually. Uh, it'll be a cool little weekend event I plan on doing with you guys. So there will be nether eventually, but for now, uh, we're keeping uh, it to a minimum. So any potions you grab will be highly valuable. Um, anyway, other things. Yeah, the end is also disabled, but that's a different kind of story. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for announcements. I want to see if I can bring Miter back here and we can do a little PvP action to end off the episode here. It's going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, I'm sorry I did this before and there was like five of you. We had this big mosh pit PvP action going. It was a ton of fun. But I lost all of that data when I had to restore my computer. So uh, it was gone and dusted. And trust me, there was no way for me to get it back. I tried really hard. I did. I didn't want to have to reset my computer. But that is the way of the beast, uh, but it's running nice and clean now and on its fresh uh, image here, so we should be good to go. So yeah, let me see if I can grab Miter and we can uh, do some PvP fun here, so I'll catch you guys in just a sec. Alright, here we go guys, hanging out with Miter, getting ready for the duel. We got the supply crate fall as well. Oh, let's go! Actually, slash game mode zero! I didn't spell it right. There we go, boom, there we go. <laughs> Sorry Miter, I know you missed that arrow shot. We've got three golden apples here, and we are pinging in the bow shots. He's a pretty good shot. 
Let's see if we can chain some hits together here. Oh, he's got one. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Dodging, dodging. Get him with the apple. I gave us both uh, two or three normal golden apples for this fight to see if we can uh, make it not last a year in a day with the uh, the god apples, which you can obviously get really easily right now just because I've got all the those materials set up on the server. Oh, he's going to drop me. I'm so dead. I am so dead. This is going to be a quick one. Hoot! Oh my god, I got annihilated. Absolutely wrecked. Oh, GG. Well, that was a fun fight. Obviously, my PvP skills leave a lot to be desired. Um, <laughs> so we will continue that. But yeah, hopefully I will see you guys on the server soon. Like I said, link is down in the description below. We almost had Mighty there. Uh, but yeah, once it goes live, it's going to be uh, a ton of fun. It's going to be a big deal actually when you're going to be using your golden apples or if you want to make a god apple because that'll all just be stuff uh, you gather in Minecraft as normal. So it is going to be a ton of fun. I can't wait. Like I said, aiming for next Monday. Uh, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for the approximately 14 or 1500 subscribers we have gotten up to. I'm having a ton of fun doing this. I hope you guys are too. So be sure to tell your friends and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.